Hello my friends, welcome to another exciting episode now for the shop design series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a Christmas or a season greetings flyer like this in Photoshop. Right? If you have not subscribed to my channel, now is the best time to subscribe so you don't miss all the videos I'm dropping out this time around. Without having to say much, without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is go over to file and click on new like this and um, make sure you give this a name here. So I'm just going to be doing, um, okay, should I do Christmas? I'm just gonna do social media flyer, right? So um, my width stays four, my height five inches, please. Resolution 300 and um, RGB, click on create. So the first thing we want to take care of is actually the background. So for the background color, this is the color code we're going to be using. So I'm going to copy this Ctrl C and um, go to adjustment here and click on solid color. Right. So I'm just going to clean this, rub this off and um, Ctrl V to paste this inside. So this is the background. This is the first thing you have to do. Right. So the next thing I want to do is I have two colors here. I can flip it. I'm going to revert it to black and white. Right. So I'm going to be putting the colors I want to use there. So the first thing I want to do is bring in this first image. So I'm going to drag and drop here like this, right? And I'm going to drag this up like this. And I'm just going to make this bigger, make this bigger like this. And um, when I'm done with the actual position I want it to be, I'm going to press enter. I'm going to create a mask to mask it. Make sure your foreground color is set to black like this. And um, of course, go over to brush, B for brush. Select the brush. You can reduce the size here or do that manually with the bracket key. So I'm just going to, that's the square bracket, not um, the, the, uh, the curved bracket, the square bracket. So I'm just going to reduce this hide that part and um, when i'm done i'm just going to blend straight like this and we're good to go okay so i'm just going to select this and um we're fine with this at the moment right All right there's a couple of adjustments you might need to do but it's fine this way so let's start off this way right just so we create a new blend, but it's not blending well now, but you don't have to worry about that. So next thing you want to do is go over to your resource file and bring in this nice image, this image here. So drag and drop, place inside, and um, you want to make it bigger. So increase it on the sides like this, and move it upwards like this, and click enter. So once you get rid of those sharp edges, click on the mask, like this and what you want to do is mask all these places out yeah so so if you want to replace you can flip the color back and if you want to conceal you can flip the color back like this on this part I'm going to conceal the edges here like this so it blends well with the design and I'm going to change the blend mode to screen I can use screen right and take this up take this up you can see it's beginning to make sense compared to how it was before when you had those two images right so I can conceal this part here and yeah okay so I'm just um, going to make sure it blends well and I'm just going to set this well Okay, so moving on, the next thing I want to do is I'll go over to my source file and bring in the next image, which is this one here. So I'm just going to be dragging and dropping like this. And um, click enter. 
right so i'm going to change blend mode to screen of course this is what you get when you set the screen right um still observing this uh overlay wouldn't work so i'm just going to leave it in screen or change it to linear dodge add i think i like linear dodge add so going back to this image right um okay i'm going to reveal it oh, yeah i'm going to reveal it all right i'm going to change the foreground color use a darker shade i'm going to use this click on the white and i'm going to change it to a lighter color that's the red and click ok like this okay so i'm just going to create a gradient um, i'm going to manually use my mouse to drag this up like this and um yeah somewhere around here before i click ok let me show you this is what your gradient should look this is the one you're using the one in the middle not this first one when you use this, this is what you get this one that blends from the foreground to transparent so make sure your foreground color is the darker shade of the red now click on the mask like this click on brush make sure your foreground color is set to black and i'm just going to rub off this top region because i don't want the gradient effect there i just need it below so i'm just going to rub off on this part i'm not coming down here just up there All right great okay so i'm um, bringing in this nice looking image of this cute little girl so i'm just going to resize it well to the size that i want it to be at like this okay so when i'm done i click enter the next thing i want to do is get rid of the sharp edges click on your mask and go over to your brush make sure your foreground color is set to black and um, conceal this part like this and voila you're good to go so i'm just going to drag her below the gradient so it creates a good blend and i'm just going to go over to selecting the image you can see it's flat let's make this image pop so you can copy my settings go to filter and uh, click on yes camera raw filter so follow my settings inside of camera raw filter okay so when you've done all of that just click ok right you can see this is before and this is after right great so um for this one i'm just going to reduce it because i want my attention to be on the message and what I'm trying to pass on to general public right so I will just have to reduce it to the barest minimum okay great so um, let's move on to the next thing that we need to do so um, I'm always coming back here and let's just do this once and for all so reduce the opacity just like this and i think i'm okay with the way it is don't worry i'm not going to touch this again 
um okay great so with this one i'm going to create a mask for it i'm going to conceal this image i want to mask off this area so make sure you're selecting the mask your brush and your foreground color is black and i'm just do, going to do this here and boom it's all gone right so you have this nicely in place it's beginning to come together as a design so slightly increase the picture here and um, good so let's go ahead select the gradients make sure you're on the gradient so you can bring this and it stays on top of the gradient so i have uh, my season greeting message typed out to you my subscribers if you're new here your christmas be filled with joy love and unforgettable moments with your loved ones as we look forward to new year i wish you all a prosperous exciting and fulfilling 2025 right so this is from me to you all right so um let's have it this way and um go to this layer which is the one that has the christmas light thingy and add a blur effect to it make sure it's not too much it's just going to be just a little bit right and click ok so that's out of the way um, let's move on so we don't get to spend the whole day here so directly on top of your text layer create another new layer swap this to the lighter red go to your brush and uh, double one double one like this and change the blend mode to what screen you guessed right so it's more like a light effect so you have that on top i'm going to create another new layer and let me move this upward a bit yeah okay so click on this layer create another layer above it flip this color now so we are using the darker shade go back to your brush and uh, just stay at the edge like this make sure you are not coming inside change the blend mode to multiply but it's too much so i'm going to do a couple of ctrl z to ctrl z everything i, I did and um, ctrl z on ctrl z yeah good set this to multiply and this is the color i'm using that's the color code so just come to the edge like this and gently just one and i'm going to do on this part too just come to the edge and uh, just do something like this and that's all that's all basically okay so that's out of the way create an adjustment layer uh, this is where this is the form part actually so if you missed up onto this point so um in the mid-tones follow my settings the shadows i'm going to throw in some reds you can see the changes i'm going to add some greens and highlights i'm going to add some greens now the major reasons why i'm doing this is just to have a perfect balance of colors of course if you want to know why you need to have perfect balance of colors enough reason why you need to subscribe to my plants to subscribe to the youtube plants uh, subscribe as a member of this channel where i do live sections one-on-one uh, -on -one sections where i explain all of these things right so it's a good place to actually take advantage of convert this to smart objects and go over to filter camera raw and uh, what you want to do is uh, of course the link to subscribe is in the description of this video so click on it and um, subscribe to the plants so highlights and I'm going to increase the haze like this um, I'm not supposed to be decreasing this. I'm supposed to be increasing this so increase the haze 
and uh, increase the texture up to make the whole design itself pop not just the image alone right so um, increase it and add a little bit of clarity to it make sure it's not too much and um, when you are done just click um, what else do we need to add okay so that's all just click ok so you can see before and after and before and after the color balance and everything you can see how much difference this has made to this design right so yeah you can also add noise uh, this is what the noise looks like in some of my designs i add noise just to make it um, look different and unique in some ways but you can choose not to add it on um, with this design i'm not going to add the noise i'm just going to uh, leave the noise you could add it on some other designs well, just click cancel but if it's something you like you can add it to it all right guys um, this is how i came up with this design if you've not subscribed to my channel this is the best place to subscribe like this video if you've enjoyed this particular session so that youtube can actually refer this to other um persons that are interested i'll see you in the next video just up here ciao